guys welcome to another video with me a little of pink and today i'm going to show you guys how to create a low poly using photoshop and you can use i'm pretty sure you can use any version of photoshop and in case you're wondering i'm using photoshop cs6 so yeah let's get started okay so we're gonna start off with a high quality picture and i chose an apple because it's easy to do and i think it will be really cool because it will look like I don't know, I saw a low poly of an apple and it looks really cool so I'm gonna try to do that. And I'm resizing it, making it smaller and putting it by the center so it would look pretty. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm zooming in and what you're gonna do is you're gonna get the polygonal... Oh no, you're gonna create a new layer and then get your polygonal lasso tool and then just trace the rough outline of the apple it doesn't need to be perfect it actually looks better if it doesn't look perfect because you can actually see the polygons the lines coming out so that's what i'm doing right now and maybe i should have sped up this part yeah maybe i should So you're gonna get your paint bucket tool and fill it with whatever color that you want because it doesn't really matter and you're gonna put that underneath the picture of our apple and you're gonna go right click create clipping mask okay so you're gonna get your polygonal lasso tool right over here and that's what you're gonna use to create the triangles and i'm just picking a place where to start <laughs> um anyway here i am creating a selection of a triangle and quite not satisfied because there is a part left so what after the selection you're gonna go filter blur average blur and as you can see it shows that it takes the average color inside and fills it in so after you selected average blur it will appear over there and you can just press ctrl f to repeat the action that you've made so i'm gonna create a selection again a triangular selection again and then i'm gonna press ctrl f on my keyboard and i don't know is it there okay it's already there and you can see that is basically what you do there are some people who plan the proportions of the triangles some may be used um some of them may be used um squares pentagons hexagons and it's completely up to you i personally think personally think that triangles looks good in this kind of stuff but it's again it's completely up to you and i'm gonna speed this part up to like 500 percent so yeah
Okay, so that's basically it and I hope this tutorial is helpful and if it is, please do give this video a big old thumbs up and if you just enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and comment down below what you want to see in the next video and subscribe for more videos. So, thank you for watching guys and goodbye.